Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can get the time of individual tasks to appear in resource management for people to know what time they should be working on a task if you're working on that basis. So let's have a look. So in here, I have got a series of tasks which I have shown in previous videos um, that's got the removing furniture, cleaning walls, preparing walls, etc., for getting a room ready for viewing. And so in this case, I've got the times broken down by hours. And what I've used is formulas, uh, which I've shown in previous videos, but I will just show it now to say, if it's broken down on an hourly basis, what's the start time and what's the end time of that? And just very quickly as a reminder of this one, so that edit column formula, all it's doing is it's saying, look at that date and then turn it into text. By doing so, it brings back the time. It's got that for the start and the finish. So in this case, it's saying, looking at these items and it's breaking down the time. And if I change that to be two hours, for example, then it will then break it out and say it's starting at eight and finishing at 9.59 on that basis. So if I just go across, so what I've got is I've got the task name and time, and this is what would show in resource management for the individual. So the way I have done this, again, is using formula. And what I'm saying is look at the task name, which I've written here. So I can just change this task name and go um, task, for example, and you can see it just changes to be task. I'm going to undo that. Um, and it's remove the furniture. And then what the formula is doing is it's then looking at the start date time and taking the last five digits, so the um, 800, and it's looking at the end time, which is the 959, and it's placing a hyphen in between them. So that's the formula, just for your reference on that side. So it's task, and then it's the right of the start time, and it's the right of the finish time, and the five digits with a hyphen in between is what I've done in this case. So that way then you get the task information appearing here. And what it can do is if I change that to be three hours, you will see that the timings update automatically and the subsequent times also update automatically on that basis. So let's just undo that and move it back to one hour because what I've got currently is this is how it shows up in so Seb is who's been allocated to this task and he's got tasks and he can see when he goes into here to see, well, what have I got to do today? Well, it's got his task list and it's saying, well, this is what you should be doing within these individual times for the day. So going back here, if you're using this for resource management, the important point to, to be aware of in this case is then the percentage allocation. So in this case, you would naturally assume, well, you're going to be 100% allocated for that one hour. And so if I was to turn this percentage allocation into, and I'm going to, if I just to say we allocated for that full hour, so that's 100% for that full hour, what we're going to see instead is actually SEB is going to become hugely over, over allocated on that basis. So if I just go to resource management and refresh it, what you're going to see is now it's going to refresh and it's going to show SEB coming through is massively over allocated. Reason being that what it does is Resource management is looking at it and going, well, you're, that's the whole day. So that's 100% for the whole day. It's not calculating it on an hourly basis. So in this case, what you need to do is you just need to get it to say, well, what, what is the calculation of how many hours in the day is it using? So in this case, what I've got is I've got a formula here and the formula is saying, it's ignoring the top row and it's saying, well, what is the duration here? So again, if I just take that formula um, on here and just say equals the duration, one hour, it's gonna immediately calculate that to be one hour. And if you see, if I change this to be two hours, so it's gonna say, oops, two days, two hours is what I was wanting to show you. And um, if I change that to be two hours, there is 25% of a day, of an eight hour day. And if I change this to be eight hours, you will see it then changes to be 100%. So just as a quick reference point, if I was to change this to be a nine hour day or 10 hours, let's just say nine for in this case. So I change it to be nine, nine hours. You'll see the calculations are gonna change as well because it's going, well, one hour of nine is 11.1%. And so if I was to then change that to 10, you'll see then that becomes even easier maths, I think. So if I change the length of day there, one hour in 10 hours will be 10%. You can see on that basis here. So eight hours of turn is 
Whereas if I was to make that one day, for example, you will see that goes to 100% because that is 10 hours of one day. So I can change that back to be one hour. And I'm also going to change the working day back to be eight hours in the spaces. So there we go, save that. And save, and save. So what's happening here is just need to change this one, the percentage allocation. So what I want to do is I want to have this as the percentage allocation that applies to everything, because at the moment you can see that that is hugely over allocated on that basis. In fact, let me just show you this. Um, I'm going to keep it over allocated. And if I just go to the overall resource view here, and this is a view that Seb doesn't have, but you can see he's over allocated because it, these ones are 100%. Whereas on this one, you can see it is 12.5%. So if we were to have all Seb's time in here as just on a like for like, um, so 100%, and if I drag that down, you'll see massively over allocated. Let me just go back to here. And if I refresh, it hopefully it will refresh. Well, it'll take the time just to sync through. And that will then go, go mad in terms of as that comes through. Just checking, uh, that's all been saved. Yep, so it will come through momentarily and just refresh it one more time. And you can see that's gone up to 700% because it's saying, gosh, he's allocated 100% for all day. So what's the message here? Is in this version, what you want to be doing is you want to be saying equals the duration at row, 12.5%, and you drag that up, that works there. And you can again, just if I want to, I'm saying equals um, duration rate, and I will leave it at that. Um, otherwise, you can make it so it avoids the level. So that's how you get it to show in this way. In this case, if I save it again, go back to Seb, and what's Seb seeing in terms of his overall duration? He's seeing the exact timings when he's working on, on a task. So again, if I just want to change it to say, well, actually, the paint walls is going to take Seb's probably two hours um, on that basis. So let me just change that on here and dress room for viewing and just kind of clean room. I'm going to put that to be 30 minutes and I'm going to make this one 30 minutes as well, just to keep it into one day. And you can see that's happened just within the day. You can see his percentage allocation comes down. Um, and if we go back to overall on this basis here, I'm going to update it and hopefully it's synced through within time. Let's just we refresh and today. So what we can see there is the timings for exactly what needs to happen when, you can see that this has been updated clearly on that basis as well. So trust that's been useful in terms of just showing some further more complex views of how some people might want to use resource management, breaking it down on an hourly or by minute basis and having team members know what tasks they um, are allocated to during that time. This way, by having it coming through here, it will show in their actual task what they're being requested to do. So trust that's been useful. Thanks for watching and more videos to follow. Bye for now.